This morning, this resurrection morning, we're going to talk about attachment, devotedness, strong affection or liking to for someone or something, a passionate or and tender devotion. We're going to talk about love. Our love for God is measured by our everyday fellowship with others and the love it displays. Love and truth are two of the most powerful things in the world. And when they both come together, they cannot easily be withstood. Amen. Trust to the past to God's mercy, the present to God's love, and the future to God's divine intervention. Amen. Love is not based on a person's intellect or state of life. Amen. It's putting another's welfare ahead of your own. Amen. To love God is the greatest of virtues. Amen. To be loved by God is the greatest of blessings. Amen. You will find that as you look back on your life, at the moments when you have truly lived, are the moments you, when you have done things in the spirit of love. Amen. God loves his children, not because of who they are, mm -hmm. but because of who he is. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father God. Love is an image of God and not a lifeless image, but a living essence of the divine nature, which means full of all goodness. Yes. And to take with us on this Resurrection Sunday morning, Christianity is a love relationship between a child of God and his maker Amen. through the son, Jesus Christ, Amen. and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Saving faith involves much more than simply acknowledging God. Even the demons fearfully believe that God is the all-powerful one. Mm -hmm. True faith involves a surrendering of one's sinful self to God Amen. for forgiveness and receiving Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. Amen. And the first mark of saving faith is love for God. Amen. True salvation produces love of God because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. It's not an accident that Paul lists love as the first fruit of the Spirit Amen. found in Galatians 5.22. Yes. Love for God is closely related to forgiveness yes. because a redeemed believer cannot help being grateful for God's gracious forgiveness. Love for God is also related to obedience. The persistent disobedient heart is an unbelieving and unloving heart. Because the love of Christ in his word will control us. Obviously we don't love Christ as fully as we ought. Because we are still imperfect and contaminated by the sinful remnants of the old self. It's for that reason. Paul told the Philippians in Philippians 1 and 9, In this I will pray that you will love, your love may abound still more and more in real knowledge and all discernment. Amen. Your love for Christ, their love for Christ was genuine, but it was not yet perfect. Mm. Genuine love for God has many facets and manifestations. Godly love longs for personal communion with the Lord. Genuine love is characterized by peace that only he can impart. As true believers, we have a divine and secure place, peace in the world that the world cannot give, possess, understand, or take away. Amen. Genuine love for God, for, genuine love for God 
loves the things that God loves. Amen. And we know what he loves through the revelation of his word. Amen. Genuine love for God loves God's people. Amen. Genuine love for God hates what God hates. Amen. Godly love cannot tolerate evil. Amen. The loving Christian grieves over sin. First of all, sin in his own life. But also especially sin in the lives of others. Yeah. Especially in the lives of fellow believers. Amen. Genuine love for God longs for Christ's return. Mm. And the overall mark of genuine love for God is obedience. Yes. John 14, 21. And this is Jesus speaking, tells us. He who has my commandments yeah. and keeps them. Yeah. It is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my father. And I will love him and manifest myself to him. Obedience to God is in fact tied together with love for God. And love for fellow believers. Although we are commanded to love God and fellow believers. That love does not and cannot originate with us. Godly love is God given. Amen. Love is from God. First yes. John 4, 7 and 10 tells us, Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God. And everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Yes. And this is love. Not that we love God, but he loved us and sent his son to be a perpetuation for our sins. Yes. We are able to love only because God first loved us. Amen. God told us from the very beginning that in love, his love, we will find the answer to all the needs as well as healing for our broken lives. When the heart is anchored in the heart of Jesus Christ, you will find him near and always eager to conform, confirm his personal love for you. Yes. The love for the world will pass away, mm -hmm. but God's love is guaranteed never yes. to fade. Yes. He is the source of all true and lasting love. Amen. 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 We thank the Lord for his word thus far. And now we will be blessed with one more musical selection, and then we will have a word from the Lord. Pray that all hearts and minds are open to receive what thus saith the Lord this morning. Amen. 